Hello. I'm with the State Ports Authority, and I'm here to answer any questions you may have about the exciting opportunity that will bring $37 million to Charleston. Cruise Ship Docking We have held many productive listening sessions for residents of Charleston to ensure that we get their input. What have you done with that input? We have processed it. What is your input? How many cruise ships will come to Charleston? In 2009 there were 33. In 2010 there were 67. There are 94 scheduled this year. And there will never be more than 2 per week, or 104 per year. How do you know that? Because this is a niche market. What is a niche market? I don't know. It means there will never be more than 2 per week. But in October there were 10 in 2 weeks, including 2 in 1 day. I meant an average of 2 per week. How are you calculating the average? Over five years, beginning in 2007. And there is only one birth so there will never be more than one per day, because there will be only one birth, which can hold only one ship per day. What about the two that came on one day in October? I meant a weighted rolling average of one per day. Won't all of these ships create more pollution? Yes. Can they turn their engines off while they are in Charleston and plug into shoreside power so there will be less pollution? No. There are no places in the world today with shoreside power. What about Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, San Diego, Juneau, Seattle, and Brooklyn? Besides those, there are none. Where will the cruise ships dump their sewage? They will not dump sewage closer than 12 miles offshore, because that is what international regulations say. Is the United States governed by these international regulations? No. But the cruise lines have promised not to dump sewage closer than 12 miles offshore. Will they sign an agreement with the city of Charleston saying they will not dump sewage closer than 12 miles offshore? No. Why? Because they believe in international and national regulations, not city regulations. I read that the CEO of Carnival said national regulations for cleaner fuel were the single largest threat to the cruise industry. What did he mean by that? He supports voluntary regulations. They promise they will not dump sewage closer than 12 miles offshore. Plus, cleaner fuel is very expensive. Things were much less expensive before they took the lead out of gasoline. There were many new jobs created in the childhood special education field. If hotels, carriage operators, restaurants, stores and even law offices have to abide by local laws and regulations, why shouldn't cruise lines? Because they are suckers and cruise lines are not. What you have told me is very exciting. I couldn't wait for my part of this $37 million. I need to power wash the sut off my porch. Thank you Cruise Lines for watching out for my best interests. You are welcome. Would you be interested in a $279 special cruise on the Fantasy? The water slide is only $5 per day extra.